Hey everybody, Bearded Welshman here. Got old glory flying in the background. It's a rainy day. If you're not 21, get off my channel. You don't belong on this channel. You must be 21 or older to view it. Also, any commercials that YouTube puts in my videos, I do not endorse. I am not compensated for those commercials whatsoever in any way. Enjoy the video and enjoy the rest of your day. Light them up. Good morning, everyone. This was my second Santa carving. That's my first one. That's the first one I did. Went down and all the sales are going on right now. I paint with acrylic paints, so this was like 20 bucks off of $30. Got this for like five bucks nice good uh, paint brushes <clears throat> good paint brushes and some painting trays so when I paint these well, I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna carve the grooves into the beard to show the beard hairs and see how that turns out these are actually turning into a really nice item for me and somebody gave me an idea and I'm gonna buy little magnets and I'm gonna put cut a little hole out here and glue the magnet in and you can stick them on a the fridge or you can hang them on a tree I can I can put it so you can put a little piece on here and hook it up on the tree but I'll paint those up today Drinking my coffee. Ah, just black, of course. So, a few weeks ago, I uh, received a package in the mail, and I did a, did a video on it. And I was given a couple blends of tobacco. One of them was 10 year old Dan's Blend from Boswell's. And he wanted me to do a video on it. To see if there's a difference between the 10 year old tobacco and the 2020 Dan's Blend. So you'll be seeing a picture, I think, right about here somewhere, of three tobaccos. The lighter one is the Golden Virginias, that's the Dan's Blend, 2020. The middle one is the Dan's Blend, 10-year-old. And the one on the right looks like Dan's Blend, 10-year-old. I'll explain that in a little bit. Okay, we're back. Said my iPad was full, I had to delete some storage. So anyhow, I'm not gonna be down here too long because my neck's pretty sore today. Twenty three degrees out today with a wind chill twelve. So it's cold. Christmas Eve is sixty five before I went to bed. Christmas Day, it dropped dramatically. That's a that's a big 40 degrees. That's a big drop. So, anyhow, so I'm smoking the 10 year old Dan's blend. And like I said, I've been smoking this and the new Dan's blend that I have. Um, for the past few days, by the way, that's my doodler cleaned that up yesterday with a bunch of pipes, cleaned them all. Um, 
you know, cleaned the stems, clean, cleaned, brushed out the bowls, didn't ream anything, didn't polish anything. But anyhow, love this pipe. So I've been smoking back and forth, back and forth. Now the tin note on the new blend, I'll show the picture again, um, or I should say the bag note or whatever you want to call it, <coughs> different than a 10 year old Dan's blend bag note. Now that was vacuum sealed, but it was in a jar for 10 years and he vacuum sealed it for me and then sent it to me. And I smoked the two and I noticed a huge difference. And for two or three days now, it's been baffling me as to what the heck is going on. Because the tin note, excuse me a second. The tin note was different or I should say the bag note, in the 10 year old, a lot different than the Dan's blend of 2020. Couldn't put my finger on it. Couldn't, could not put my finger on it. Then I started going, this is a familiar smell. This is a familiar taste on the 10 year old. It does not taste like Dan's Blend 2020. So, scratching my head, thinking about it, researching, checking it out. Well, if you look at the tray again, I'll put the picture back up. The lighter one is Golden Virginia's. That's Dan's Blend 2020. The middle one is Dan's Blend 10 years old. The one on the far end is not Dan's Blend, but it looks like Dan's Blend in the middle, the 10 year old Dan's Blend. That is Boswell's best. Yep. Looks a lot like the 10 year old Dan's Blend, doesn't it? So, Researched, by the way, here's a fun fact for you. Why am I smoking Boswell's best? Well, fun fact Boswell's best came out in 1976. If you smoke Boswell's best and Lane 1Q, which came out in the early 80s, <clears throat> there is very uh, close similarities in the smoke. The Boswell's Best has a little more Cavendish in it than the Lane One Q, um, and I tell you that because I know that because I researched it. Boswell's Best was was put out in 1976. I was 11 years or seven years old, six seven years old. Okay, so I'm 51. So figure how long that's been around. The Lane One Q was put out in the early 80s. I think 80 81. Was when they came out with that. Boswell's best was first. It is better than the Lane One Q. So, here's what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is, and you'll see the picture up there the whole time. Dance Blend 2020. Dance Blend supposedly 2010. Boswell's best. Okay. My friend, I think I think you mixed the I think you got a mix up there on your on your when you put it in the jar. I think you either accidentally wrote down the wrong name or you put the wrong label on something. Because here's what I do know about Gold Virginias. 
as they age, they will not darken. Look at the difference in color. Look at the golden and look at the dark. Golden Virginias will not darken with time. Not going to happen. Won't happen. And that I verified uh, by researching on the internet. And researching, I mean, I really dug deep because I was like, this can't be wrong. This can't be, it can't be that big of a mix up. So either, I think my friend, either you put the wrong label on or you're trying to trip me up, which I don't think you would try to do that. Or I don't know, but I do know this. There is no way that stands blend. I do know that for a fact. Taste an awful lot. Like Boswell's best and Lane or Lane One Q, um, because I'm picking up the Cavendish, and there's no Cavendish in the Dan's blend. So, and you can see the Cavendish. So that's what I'm saying. There's no way that can be Dan's blend ten year old. Um, if anything, it's Boswell's best ten year old, and it tastes just like Boswell's best twenty twenty. With age does not bring about a better taste. That's my opinion. <coughs> but I know, fact, Golden Virginias will not turn color with time. Now, what about sugar crystals? Sugar crystals can develop on tobacco over time. One of the things you have to realize is, excuse me, I didn't mean to hit that. When you, when you put your tobacco in a bag and you leave it in your car on a hot day, you're going to change that up a little bit. The chemical, it's going to break down chemically, and it is going to change up a little bit. That will happen if you leave your tobacco. So don't leave your tobacco sitting in a hot car all in the summertime. Take it out of the car. How you sell or what temperature you sell your tobaccos in <coughs> brings out and changes the chemical makeup of the tobacco. All tobaccos have some type of chemicals put in them. Because well, we know that because of flavoring, right? So when you do that, it's like a cigar. You keep a cigar in a humidor. You keep it at a certain humidity and a certain temperature. And you have to keep it that way to preserve that cigar. And I don't have the sharpest palate in the box. But I do know this. I've tasted, I've had... 10 year old cigars that tasted just like the cigar that I had that was brand new, same name, same, same, you know, whatever it is. Um, to me, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. That's to me. Now, to some of you, it may be a difference. There might be a difference, and you might notice it. And a lot, and some of you are probably going to tell me I'm full of crap. And that's fine because I know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that's not Dan's blend. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Golden Virginia's tobacco in general does not change color with time. It won't darken up. You could get sugar crystals on it. Yeah. Yeah, if you get some some type of a, I don't know, seal break. I don't know what causes the sugar crystals and stuff on tobacco. I get that. But you're not going to, the, co the color is not going to change over time. So it had to have had something either... Put into it to change the color. It was mislabeled when you jarred it up. Or and and I'm not trying to insult. I'm not trying to insult you, my friend. Um, it was either it had some chemicals put into it or something into it to change the color. It was mislabeled when you jarred it, or you tried to test me and trip me up. But I can tell you right now, definitely not Dan's blend. Well, that's it for me. I just wanted to come on here real quick because I did promise I would do that. And uh, like I said, my friend, I'm, I'm not trying to uh, embarrass you, disrespect you, or anything. I can tell you for a fact that is not Dan's blend. Not. There's no way. 
it will not change that much in uh, in flavor in color and in the smell there's no way possible not going to happen done my research I know what I like and I know what I I know my th my three four blends that I I like Lane 1Q Boswell's Best Dan's Blend Northwoods those are my four and Balkan Supreme top five not in any particular order top five I can tell you that is not Dan's Blend that is Boswell's Best or it's Lane 1Q it's one of the two so anyhow just wanted to bring that out I promised I would do a video on it uh, I'm sorry to disappoint if I disappointed you but um, I don't know what to tell you it is what it is all right everybody God bless God loves you I love you thanks for sending me that tobacco I enjoyed them uh, the LJ Peretti's are really good never had those LJ Peretti blends they're really good but thank you very much Light them up